So you're working to apply as a Linux system administrator. In this video, we're gonna go over the top 15 interview questions that you should be prepared to answer from a technical perspective. So let's get into it. Now, the purpose of this video is to get your mind going and for you to be fully prepared to answer any technical questions that may arise in your systems administrator job interview. This video is going to go over some technical Linux questions. If you can answer all of these questions off the top of your head without having to research the answers, then you're going to be in a good place. So let's go ahead and start with question number one, which is what is the difference between ECC and non ECC RAM? Number two, what is swap and what is it used for? Three, what is an A record and an NS record? What about a C name and an MX record? Question number four, what is a PTR or RDNS record? Number five, what does making a file immutable do and why would one want to do that? Number six, what is SNMP and what is it used for? Question number seven, how do you force a file system check upon the next server reboot? Number eight, describe how the PS command works. Nine, what is a zombie process and what could be the cause of a zombie process? I don't know, it sounds kind of scary. Lucky number 10, what is the difference between a process and a thread? And number 11, what is a wildcard certificate? 12, what is a grep command used for? Number 13, what is the default username of the administrator user on a Linux system? 14, what is a Linux kernel module? And finally, number 15, what are run levels in Linux? And there you have it. These are 15 questions you should be prepared to confidently answer without any hesitation if you're looking to apply as a Linux system administrator for any company. If you don't know the answer to one or more of these questions, you should go back and do some research so that you can feel confident when entering your next job interview. Should we make a video in the future with the answers to these questions? Let us know in the comment section down below. Also, if you have any tips or other questions you've faced when applying as a systems administrator, feel free to share them in the comment section down below as well. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.